Hello everyone, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Today what I'm gonna do is a video that I don't know why it's taking me so long to do, but I'm going to do what I feel are the top 10 Iron Maiden songs. Now, this was very difficult because as we all know, Iron Maiden has so many good songs and um, so many different um, uh, types of albums and so many different um, moods to their albums and phases that they went through. So um, I tried to represent all the different phases of Iron Maiden and tried to whittle it down to 10 songs. So here we go. I'm going to start at number 10 and go all the way down to my number one song. All right, so coming in at number 10 is the song Future Real off of Virtual 11. And I tell you what, I am a big fan of Blaze Bailey. I was not a fan of The X Factor, but I did like Virtual 11 better. And I love all of Blaze's solo records too. I feel like he's an underrated singer. Um, so give Blaze a chance, especially his solo stuff. Um, but I had to, I had to put some Blaze love on this list. So coming in at number 10 is Future Real. Just a great, great song. Great opener to that album, by the way, Virtual 11. Uh, number nine. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the later Maiden, like post Brave New World. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of those albums. But the one song that I really, really, really like is uh, For the Greater Good of God. And this comes off of A Matter of Life and Death. Um, it's just a great epic song. I think all the stars aligned for that song. Um, like I said, for me anyways, the later stuff after Brave New World is kind of touchy for me. But the song For the Greater Good of God, really good. Coming in at number eight off of Brave New World is Ghost of the Navigator. I was so excited, as we all were, to have Bruce back in to the mix of Iron Maiden again, and Adrian Smith came back, and that album, Brave New World, was a very strong comeback for them. Um, again, not as strong as the early Maiden stuff, but after X Factor and Virtual Eleven, which were not bad albums, but to have Maiden back with Bruce for Brave New World, that was just great. And and for me, Ghost of the Navigator is just a great song. That's coming in at number eight. Number seven, this is an underrated song. It's off a of Peace of Mind. This is the song To Tame a Land. I love it. Very atmospheric, um, uh, proggy, great vocals by Bruce. I love Steve Harris's bass lines on it. So number seven, To Tame a Land. Number six, I Gotta Give Love to Paul Diano. Uh, Killers is probably my second favorite Maiden album. And the song Killers, the title track, is coming in at number six for me. That song is just great. It's heavy. Uh, what I like about the Paul Diano years is that I feel like they brought sort of a punk element to their songs. Um, Paul Diano has a real rough vocal quality to him. And um, th that was some heavy stuff. So six for me, tracks or uh, number six for me is Killers. Um, number five, another Paul Diano song, but this is off of Iron Maiden's first album, Phantom of the Opera. I've just love, always loved that song. Um, for me, I think it's the best song off that first album. And, um, number five. All right, now, track number four, Alexander the Great. Now, Somewhere in Time was my first Maiden album that... I ever listened to and I remember the cassette and the cassette would like fold out into the and you could just study the artwork of Somewhere in Time. I just love the futuristic look to it. Um, I love the whole theme of the album. It's actually my favorite Iron Maiden album and that song, the last song on that album, Alexander the Great, always just struck me. Um, it's just cool how Maiden could just take like a, a historical topic and basically Alexander the Great is, is a lesson on his life. 
And it was funny, my daughter uh, texted me the other day and, and, and she's in high school now. And she's like, dad, dad, my teacher played Alexander the Great for us, Iron Maiden. And I, I was like, wow, that's so cool. And what I thought was even cooler was that she was already familiar with the song after listening to it in the car with me. So number four, Alexander the Great. Number three, this song is, is just phenomenal. Seventh son of a seventh son. Um, I love the breakdown in the middle. I love the chorus, seventh son of a seventh son, seventh son of a seventh son. It's just great. I just love, it's, it's heavy. Bruce's vocals are awesome. I just think the songwriting, the structure of the song is just great coming in at number three. Okay, now, my top two Iron Maiden songs. Okay, track two for me has to be Aces High. First song on Power Slave, the 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 dual guitar work on that song the structure of the song just the way it opened up the album has always held a special place in my heart ace is high i mean when i think maiden i think i, I think of songs like ace is high it's just it's just top tier maiden so that's why for me number two now number one my top Iron Maiden song, and again, I told you this is my favorite album, Off of Somewhere in Time, is the first song, Caught Somewhere in Time. That is my absolute favorite Iron Maiden song. I love the futuristic quality of it. Um, I love the guitar work, Bruce's vocals. I love the lyrics. I love the subject matter. It was a great way to open up that album. And again, when I think Iron Maiden, songs like Ace is High, Caught Somewhere in Time, those are what I think of for, for Maiden. Now, um, I did not put certain songs on this list. Um, I know a lot of people love Hallowed Be Thy Name. I love that song. I do. For me, it's a little overplayed, though. Um, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. That song is awesome. Classic Maiden. But for me, I had it on my list. But Alexander the Great trumps it for me. And I think mainly because I hear Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner so, so many times, and I love that song, and I hate taking it off my top 10, but I think Alexander the Great is, is underrated, and I think maybe even just a little bit better than Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Um, what else didn't make the list? Um, you know, songs like Wicker Man, uh, Brave New World, um, The Klansman, those are all great songs. They didn't make my list. I guess these are just all my honorable mentions. Um, Sign of the Cross is another good one off the X Factor. I just never was a huge fan of the X Factor. I don't like the production of that album. I love Blaze again. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't pick any songs off that album because the production of it really kind of uh, detracts for me. Um... So yeah, there were a lot of honorable mentions, but I gotta go with that with that top 10. So let me just go real quick through it again. Number 10, Future Real. Number nine, For the Greater Good of God. Number eight, Ghost of the Navigator. Number seven, To Tame a Land. Number six, Killers. Number five, Phantom of the Opera. Number four, Alexander the Great. Number three, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Number two, Ace is High. And number one, Caught Somewhere in Time. I'd love to know your top 10 of Maiden. What do you think of my top 10? Any uh, suggestions, any, uh, you know, anything that you disagree with, um, let me know. All right, have a good one.